All right, Steve, well, a week off in the middle of the season, you wouldn't be used to that, having a bye. How's the um, the team come through it and how are you looking forward to Perth? Yeah, obviously we've got a few people come back from injuries as well. And uh, yeah, the boys are in good shape. I think it's good to uh, obviously analyse the past few games we've played and put things uh, yeah right. Obviously, we've had a few little blips, but uh, we'll come away all right. So when you assess January, looking ahead to February, is there anything in particular that you want to see a bit of a, a lift in? Yeah, I still think there's a lot of improvement. Um, there's some games we've played in, we haven't really been uh, you know, 100% uh, the way we want to play, but uh, we found a way to win and that was the most important thing. Is that sometimes the most important thing? I mean, you can play pretty football and, and, and say lose 5-4, or we can win with a, a jammy goal in the 94th. Would you always prefer the win, obviously, even though the performance might not be there? Yeah, definitely. I remember speaking to the owner after the uh, the game, and it was, you know, I think, a disappointment from him. There's people coming to the Westpac and dominating us uh, throughout the whole game. And I think uh, you got to give credit to Newcastle. They give us a different style of play, and it, it was a tough game, but the boys adjusted to it dug in deep and uh, I thought we got the, uh, the job done. When you look ahead to February, you're playing against teams who are you know, up in the top echelons of the table as you are. Do you feel like it could be a season defining sort of stretch for you this month? I think I look at the Newcastle game and it doesn't matter if you're bottom of the league or near the top, I think it's all about who turns up on the day and I think for that they've proved everyone. You know, they can go and uh, give everyone a good run for their money if you put it there, uh, obviously a performance in that they did. And the players we've got, I know we can get back to how we can play, but, uh, about dominating possession is not always the kind of the way that you want to go around because it can obviously cause a few problems with you. I think on the counter-attack is worrying about teams who can probably hit you on the break with uh, that last shot and um, yeah, I think the main thing for us is just focus on what we're good at and our strengths and then we won't go far wrong. Perth this weekend, I mean you look at the attacking weaponry they have with Fornaroli and Castro and, and anybody else who decides to play for them, um, you know, do you give a particular focus to their attacking threats? No, the manager's made it very clear, just getting back to, uh, back to basics and what we're good at and uh, don't worry about any of their side. <laughs> they're very good, obviously you look at the attacking play they've got, the style of play they play and uh, yeah, obviously the manager's got them playing at a very aggressive uh, press and yeah, they like to uh, control the game so it's going to be one thing we're going to have to do is get after them. I don't think you can go to Perth and sit back and uh, soak the pressure up. You're asking for trouble because the players they've got will hurt you. So I think we'll go there full of confidence and uh, we'll leave them and get three points. Having been there last year and, and knowing about the travel and the time difference and stuff, good idea to go today on the Monday? Yeah, I think the boys can adjust to it. It's going to be very hot. A few of our players haven't uh, obviously experienced that just yet. So they'll, uh, yeah, they'll get ready for that and we'll be uh, ready to go for uh, Friday. Good to have um, you know, Reno back from, from Ollie Roos, Judy. Absolutely, and he's been fantastic at where the boys have been uh, keeping tabs of his performances. and uh, Yeah, it's great for him and um, nice to have him back, yeah. Do you want him to get one of those free kicks for, for you guys? He's been scoring some pretty spectacular goals for, for Australia. Yeah, we've seen it in training as well. He's uh, you know from further out as well. He's having a few at the moment, so hopefully that'll pay off in the game when he's uh, called upon. Because do you think like players like that make a, a difference when you can either call upon him from the bench or if he starts you know another attacking player? I think the manager's got a headache first and foremost. You know, uh, Carl's been doing a fantastic uh, job and Joshy as well. So it's a massive uh, headache for the boss to pick who he wants to to pick. But yeah, it's a fantastic option and the quality that we've got gone through the squad is uh, it's very healthy. And do you think Matty was missed potentially in that, that game against uh, Newcastle? I think any player that you're putting obviously Matty's obviously suspension there killed him a little bit, but. Uh, every game is different, and I think uh, you know when we played against Newcastle, they just offered something completely different that we haven't had all season. And it's great to have them back in uh, the squad, and then uh, we'll see what the manager does. Because do you think that's one of the big changes from last season, the, the depth that you've got? You know, you look at the players. Um, you know, the bench must be one of the, the best in the early game. Yeah, definitely. I think last year we uh, we had a few problems, especially in the centre midfield. We were playing sometimes a, a number ten striker kind of play, uh, player in the uh, the six role, so. Especially the latter stages of the game, we didn't really have too much cover in there. This year, we're very uh, lucky to have the kind of strength and depth and the quality in there as well. And I think uh, players have obviously stepped up to the plate and took their opportunity very well.